weight scrap. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? Well, the Octagon is touched down here at United Center in Chicago, Illinois. Seemingly an annual stop for the MMA leader here in the Windy City. Great to have you with us, as always, as we get underway. All right, so here we go with round one. This is his UFC debut. Many of you saw his last fight on Dana White looking for a fight and certainly got it done that night with flying colors. Now we'll see if his game translates to the big show. The fights get bigger. The spotlight gets bigger. Prevailing wisdom is this young man can handle it. And mixes it up with the kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Good exchange there. Oh, uppercut lands, and he leaned right into that one, Joe. Left the head wide open there for the taking. Let's see if now that wakes him up a little bit and he learns to get those hands up. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. The kick lands, he's stunned. He is clearly in big, big oh. trouble. The left hook hits home. How about that chin? Oh! What a leg kick! Oh, judges had to like that uppercut. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Good punch. Oh, he lands yet another hook here. He certainly landed several in this round and starting to find a home for it consistently. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Two minutes now to go in the round. Nice straight right. Hard inside leg kick lands. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Absolutely. One to the body. There's the right hand there. Very good defense on display here. Very good blocks. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. to go. Oh, big left. He blocks the punch. Oh! And another one. He's in trouble. Spinning back fist. Second round, straight ahead. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the belt. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn. And now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got... Second round here. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's going to get knocked out. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Slightly deflected. Doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. Oh, 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 oh. Another shot, he's in trouble. Another knockdown! Oh. He's oh. kicked him in the face! Hurt him with that overhand. Oh, 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 oh. And just oh. like that, the fight is over! He threw an incredibly large volume of strikes, but this last one was the big one that landed for the knockout. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short knife for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And here it is again. Ba-boom! 
And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is going to stop for this contest at one minute, 11 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout King! All right, so congratulations to the winner off to a nice 1-0 start in the UFC. This was his promotional debut, and it could not have gone much better for him here tonight as he starts to celebrate with his coaches and teammates. Congratulations to the UFC newcomer.